Hey everyone, um, <clears throat> day two of my little experiment of my daily ag tech dog walk video blog. Um, here I am walking them, there's one of them, another one's on the side here I think. I do this typically every day after I drop the kids off. Uh, kind of explained it in my video yesterday. We'll see if this keeps on tradition or not, but uh, my little daily quip of today is I saw some news that was uh, shared to me by a colleague and I saw it on some other channels. Um, AgFunder did this little report saying grow intelligence can't make payroll and you know they're big data, ag data analytics company saving the world one data bite at a time or something like that. I don't really know them that well. I know they exist. I haven't really followed them. They stay in the big B2B realm and trying to sell to commodity brokers and big corporate CPGs, whatnot. Uh, and they're having problems. Well, you know, part of it's raising money. It's tough in ag right now uh, on the tech scene for a lot of reasons, and I won't dive into that. That is why uh, you can follow my Ag Uncensored podcast as I slowly want to peel peel out the onion that is ag tech and all the smells and uh, senses around it. But just with the grow intelligence part, the thing that kind of uh, bothers me, and they're not the only one that's done this, but uh, Descartes Labs did this too, trying to say we, using all these data analytics, imagery, weather, what have you, statistics, uh, are within this close to the USDA report, you know, 2%, or we change the markets and, you know, this way. Okay, that's fine and great, but, you know, actually, statistically, even the USDA report is off probably plus or minus 5%. No one really talks about that because you can't get that accurate. You can't. You can't be within 2%. And even if you are within 2%, honestly, it's more of a, it's more gossip than anything that's why the markets change that's why you know people can use that and to some that's valuable I, I get it that can be a valuable thing ahead of time but what we don't really want to talk about is the the whys of why you can't do it very well especially at a macro scale um, and I'll just use two examples a lot of people use the CLUs in the US in the USDA the common land units as a reference point well I worked in crop insurance. I've worked with CLUs for over 20 years. They are typically off three to 8%. Some areas higher, some lower, depends. Because uh, they were drawn in the early 2000s by hand uh, on GIS software. And they're just, you know, they're not updated very often at all, you know, little bits and pieces. So you're, you're statistically gonna be off there. Then even using imagery, well, a lot has used Landsat data, which is 30 meter resolution. Well, you border that around a field, 30 meter difference, plus or minus, can happen. That's a lot of acres when you add it up. It's like plus 5% difference, deviation, possibilities. You Sentinel data, which is what a lot of people are using these days, you know, it's 10 meter resolution. It still equates to, you know, around 5% if I did my math correctly back in the day when I remember doing it. So you're, you're off. Being within 2% is irrelevant of a report that is the gold standard. And maybe some can grab insights from that or whatnot, but selling it as we're within this is probably why you're having some problems and why others have had problems on it. And there's actually, unfortunately, not a lot of money in it. And uh, that's just the truth. That's the reality. I wish it was better, maybe it will, but to do it better, it's not impossible, it's just really expensive to do and really hard to do. So to all those that try to make big yield prediction claims off of uh, imagery, um, you maybe can do it on a micro scale. Macro scale, it's just, it's tough, if not impossible. And trying to sell a product that claims that and trying to make tens of millions of dollars, gonna have a bad time. So uh, that's it for today curious on your thoughts and uh follow me my new uh podcast ag uncensored on all the fun social channels and we'll see you next week and uh take care bye